Hi friends, we'll be talking to Rashi Shetty today. Rashi is a speech therapist. She's based in Chennai, Vellachari. She is a therapeutic listening practitioner. She's also a certified oral placement therapist and a Hani certified therapist. She's been working with kids for the last nine years. Let's listen to what she has to share with us. Rashi, what is uh, the oral motor system? Oral motor system basically means uh, the system within the mouth. So it's your heart palate, lip, the tongue, the jaw and uh, the muscles. So how they're interrelated and how you use them. This only doesn't help in feeding alone, but it also helps in communication, articulation. All these things come under the oral motor system. And why is it important for us to know about the oral motor system? Um, it is very important for us to know about the oral motor system because it is an integral part. Like basic feeding is a basic necessity for everybody. Mm. So this is like a core part of feeding. As well as when kids have articulation issues or issues with clarity of speech, it somehow relates to the oral motor system. So hence it is a very integral part, I could say, you know, especially with feeding. Okay. And what is the difference between articulation and speech clarity? I mean, if a child has poor articulation, it will affect speech clarity. Yeah, right? yeah, so they are yeah. more or less they, the... Yeah, they are interrelated. But uh, the thing is, articulation error basically means error with pronunciation. So it could be either in the initial, medial or final, you know, word structure. Or there is some he, uh, he or she substitutes with some other sound. So uh, articulation does affect clarity, but clarity also... So comes in the domain where uh, when a child is speaking, he might not open his mouth enough, move his tongue uh, fast enough or move too fast. So clarity and articulation are interrelated, but clarity also has issues when you know you have issues with function or oral structures, the clarity will get affected. So uh, if as you said, if the child is speaking too fast or the tongue moves too fast, then what is the reason? It's a part I mean, what is the reason why it happens? Uh, yeah. Basically, what we have or what I have learned is we say what happens in the body happens in the mouth. So we've seen when the child is hyper by nature, he tends to talk really fast. Or maybe he's very, uh, you know, sluggish. Or when the child has CP, they have find it very difficult to move their tongue. Mm -hmm. So that's when they move it slow. So normally it's always associated with something. That's what we've seen. Or general by nature, when, you know, by nature, if you're very active and enthu, you tend to talk very fast. So, uh, correct me what I have understood that what happens in the body happens in the oral motor, yes. which means that it's important that if a child has oral motor issues, he also works with somebody who can help him or her to organize his body also definitely, definitely. because when the control over the larger muscles is easier for the child, then the child finds it easier exactly. to even talk, yes, right? Definitely, definitely. Okay. Okay, so it would be a good idea that if a, again it depends on the child, per, per child it would differ, but if the child has an issue with clarity or speaking too fast or whatever, then working with an occupational therapist or a physiotherapist with the speech therapist as an interdisciplinary team would help them to get better and faster changes? Yes, yes. I, like you said, it depends from child to child. Exactly. Each child is unique. But yes, there are cases where, you know, we've seen uh, where an occupational therapist has also collaborated with the speech therapist and both of us work integrally. And mm -hmm. then we've seen better changes in the child, you know. Okay. And, and also we've seen when we work on the oral structure and the uh, physical part of it, we've seen an entire, entirely different child from no, yeah, because we at the off? end of it, we cannot separate oral motor from the body, from the emotion. You know, it's like a whole oh, child. Yes, yes, basically. definitely, definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.